So are there any treatments that are either new or that are being used more often that you're particularly excited about? Yes. So diabetes has changed. And, you know, there was a huge organization called JDRF and they have rebranded. They have changed their name from the the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation to Breakthrough Type 1 because type 1 diabetes now is diagnosed more in adults than kids. We are seeing an increase in prevalence of type 1 diabetes, which is autoimmune, which, of course, has posed, um, you know, the question, wait a minute, the way that we treat or the way that we manage type 1 is by providing people insulin because their pancreas doesn't make it. And that's been for about 103 years. But we don't just want to do that anymore. We want to cure this. We want to get rid of this. So there's been many people um, working really here in the U.S. and internationally on how can we cure type 1 diabetes. And there's definitely ways to do it. And people have been cured of type 1 diabetes. This is not new. At the conference, there was actually a big um, uh, presentation by Vertex Pharmaceuticals. And it was um, an islet cell um, medication. It was given into the portal vein of persons that were dependent on insulin, so people that had type 1 diabetes. And of these patients, 12 patients received it, and 10 of those are still producing their own insulin. So that sounds like a cure to me. (laughs) So that was really, really exciting. That was the first day of the conference, um, and it almost kind of like set the tone and set the mood. There are a lot of people even at the conference that are living with type 1 that are here more just to get support and spread the word, and um, it's very, very empowering. Mm -hmm. We also have a different type of way to delay onset of type 1 diabetes. So type 1 will start without any symptoms. It will start and has three stages, stage 1, stage 2, and stage 3. Stage 1 of type 1 diabetes, people's blood sugar will be normal and they will have no symptoms. In stage 2, we will detect positive autoantibodies, meaning that we know that the immune system is attacking the beta cells, which produce insulin in the pancreas. And people's blood sugar may start becoming a little abnormal. It won't be very, very high. These cells in their body are still producing insulin. So this is exactly the time that they are a candidate for a medication that is the only one FDA approved on the market. It is called T-Zealed. Um, there are hundreds of people that have been infused with it in the United States, and they are producing their own insulin. We know that t is a monoclonal um, antibody infusion, and it is approved to delay onset of type 1 diabetes when you are in stage 2 from progressing into stage 3. There is more science and research going on, hopefully, that we have more indications for t But of course, like you probably wonder, why is this important? We want to get rid of type 1, right? We don't want to just delay it. Well, a lot of people with type 1 or insulin dependence get very, very, very sick, like out of nowhere. They go into multi-organ failure. We usually diagnose them in the hospital, in the ER. They go into what's called diabetic ketoacidosis. They get diagnosed in an ER, and then, you know, they're like, okay, here, go home. You need insulin for the rest of your life. And it's like, wait, what? And it's like 10 minutes, all this stuff is thrown at you, your life has completely changed, and there's no time for planning. It just is. So when we introduce the medication t we are delaying that time and we're giving people time to plan. And there are many people that have received this infusion and they are still producing their own insulin. So we're hoping and seeing that, hey, like long term wise, can this progress and be a longer term solution, um, hopefully at treating this terrible disease? Interesting.